to the man, the bow tie, and the viral spiral. The that viral is the weapon. spiral, yes. We weren't out there beating people up, were we? I never do that. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. No, well, that's just wrong. It's <laughs> bingo. Mm -hmm. Or we don't have enough money. Yes. <laughs> um, we're going to start with Paul Krugman, the uh, Nobel Prize yeah. winning uh, uh, from uh, economics, Very high who bro. writes for the uh, New York Times. Yeah. He wrote this uh, small uh, op ed called Terror Politics. Hmm. Now, here's that picture that you see a lot, uh, you know, from when Obama, the Obama and, uh, the, took Osama out Osama bin Laden and yeah. everybody's convening there to see the operation. But look, there's that little addition there in the <laughs> picture that some people suddenly on Twitter noticed there's a white cat that's been photoshopped into that picture. <laughs> And that went. That made people on, on Twitter just go crazy. We can see some uh, tweets about about this, okay. um, saying that uh, you know uh, Krugman has gone crazy. Uh, what's what's going yeah. on? Uh, where's the credit for for this uh, photo? And nobody knows where it's from. And why would Krugman put a cat? Exactly. What the hell? Yeah. What what did it mean? This is a little more Photoshop, of course. They put they, they just went overboard and put everybody they know. Yes, inside. Uh, yeah. Mickey Mouse and <laughs> everybody stuff like was that. in the room. Okay. So actually, in the end, he said, "Yes, I know there's a cat in the pieces. In the pieces is Krugman. I took it from Slate, Slate magazine, an online magazine. Right. The, po the post was of cats of war. I've used that image before to lighten things up slightly. Apparently, I didn't succeed <laughs> this time." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're, I mean, it's, if you're an op-ed columnist in the New York Times, you can say many, many things, but maybe being humoristic is not yeah, something that we Yeah, yeah, you should just stick to the, you know, the stick facts. To the, stick to the economy, yeah. what you know. Yeah. Don't put Photoshop pictures. Don't the people will go cat. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This is a photo that I like. It's, this is from a, a, sh a website called Petapixel, um, and it's a, a, by a photographer called Alexei Lubomirsky. Well, let's see the photo. Bring up the photo. Uh, it's a man that's kind of like hovering above a woman. If you could just bring up the photo. Okay, which photo? This one, yeah. Well, that's the ah. photo that I want to see. And it was made, uh, he, he put up on, uh, on Instagram, on his Instagram account, the video of how it was made. And let's just check out the video because oh, it was please. really interesting. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Wow, yeah. That's we completely can see that again. mid. How many times did they have to do it is what I wonder. I don't know. Looks like they got it in one shot. It, I don't know. One, Look two, at that. Three, bang. And boom. That okay. is timing. Yeah, that is timing. <laughs> that is timing. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, that photo went viral. That at home. The, actually, the video went viral more. Mm. Uh, there's a website. Uh, it's called Ghoul, G O O L E dot com. And the reason that they, they put the, the it, it's actually named after a British town Ghoul. called Ghoul in, in there's northern. There's a town in Britain there's a, called a town Ghoul. Called Britain. Where, yeah. And the website where is called. Come from? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's called Ghoul isn't Google. And the residents of Ghoul put this website up because they're tired. One of the persons who put it up is called Chris Collins. It got very frustrating, and it's not just that several people have mentioned it. When searching on the web for anything Google related the results are usually preceded by the question, did you mean Google? Exactly. Followed by pages of Google links, yeah. resulting in many Google inhabitants and researchers shouting at their screen, no, I meant Ghoul. <laughs> I meant Ghoul. <laughs> so wow. these people are very frustrated. I wouldn't want to Google. And they, so yeah. they put up their own website that's... Uh, I mean, imagine if there's a town named Tweet. Okay. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a video that's gone totally viral. It's from Al Jazeera. Uh, they, they, they really did a, a, an emotional thing. It's about six minutes long. We're just going to show a few seconds. But it's a man named Otis Johnson who entered prison at the age of 25. He was there for 44 years, and he was just released at the age of 69. And they, they accompanied him as he was walking on the streets and seeing all this stuff. He's been, he's been on the streets now for, I guess, a few weeks. Now he's been free. But he's still amazed oh by how Lord. things have changed. And we just have a few seconds to see about what he thinks about what what's going on in the supermarket. Market, what, and all the food that As he sees. As opposed to what happened when he left 44, when he left 44 years, years ago. ago. Let's take a look. There's so many things that you can eat, so it's a hard, hard choice to pick out really the food that you want. For instance, the peanut butter and it had jelly in it, and I ain't never seen nothing like that before, and definitely wasn't in the, in the prison system, you know. So peanut butter and jelly in the same place, in a jar, and that, that was strange. Still here. 1960s, Skippy still around. First of all, the video is full of moments like that of him just walking in Times Square and seeing all the signs, and he notices how people are looking at these things I in their hands. I was about to say, wasn't the first thing? Uh, the first thing that you know that, he was that would amazed. Mark you is why is everybody doing this? Yes, yes. He, he's yeah. looking at the people walking with their phones and their face buried wow. in the phones. Yeah, uh, it's a really, really. Uh, great I wonder film. if he's going to turn around and say, "Can you take me back?" Yeah, I don't, I, want wonder, you, I, I don't know I wonder, if I can deal with this. I wonder. Yes. By the way, he was he was in prison for the attempted murder and assault of a police officer. Attempted murder. Attempted murder. 44 years in the slammer. Just got out now. That is terrifying. Yes, America. And? Remember John Stamus from uh, Full House? Of course. The heartthrob? Yes, to some. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not to you, really? Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, okay. you know, there's that Throwback Thursday thing of that course, people, and sometimes course. celebrities put do take part in it. And this this Throwback Thursday went totally viral of John Stamos in his senior year. As it his should. His prom year. This is his prom date. Oh, my God. With his God. date there. Wearing Let's that dissect. White, white tuxedo. And just in case, you know, people don't know what he looks like today. Today he's 52. That's what he, you know, that's what he looks so like today. So much better. So much better. You like better. it now, really? Yes. <laughs> oh come on! I mean, I, and I'm, I'm the poor woman next to him, looking like a, you know, like a tablecloth. Look at that! Because this is that what is we wore. Amazing. Yeah, white tuxedos and women in tablecloths. Okay, sadly, yeah. all the time we have, because I could dissect that picture forever. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, you and I were.